Minicello's got one to beat. Pierce puts a kick in. Carney picks him up and lumbers him into the ground. It's gone to Jennings. Jennings, look at him go. He's over. Here's another run by Penrith. And we're underway here at Ring Rose Park, Montmorefield, round 21 of the VB New South Wales Cup. A world away from the bright lights of ANZ Stadium, New South Wales Cup rugby league players battle it out in park football venues all over the state. It takes the most loyal of fans to come out to these venues each weekend and support the grassroots levels of rugby league. Amongst these fans each week is the Hawkesbury Radio commentary team. Meet sports director Michael Golikov, the man responsible for producing the live rugby league calls each weekend. And for Michael, it's a massive setup every game to ensure sure the call makes it live to air. It's quite a bit of work. Uh, we've got you know, a good roster of uh, commentators on board and you need to have people that can call the game and people that can be the co-commentator and the sideline eye and uh, people that can sit in the studio and you know, we look at probably about 10 to 12 people on our team and you now I've got to make up a roster who's available when and where the games are, organising the clubs, making sure that there's access to phone line and power and somewhere we can sit and broadcast and set up the equipment. So a fair bit goes into it. The Hawkesbury commentary team's voluntary efforts provide important exposure for local grassroots rugby league, a part of the game that legendary commentator Peter Sterling says is the key to the game's survival. Oh, it's vital. It's the lifeblood always has been and always will be. Um, and I think, you know, I've, I've been around the game for 40 years and like everybody else, that's how I started out. I think that we've got to be really careful that we don't lose sight of that fact and, and, and the funding and, and um, the, the emphasis and the focus isn't always directed you know, to, to our junior nurseries and to our grassroots level because if we don't pay attention there, the game will die. This focus required to keep rugby league alive is provided by the Hawkesbury radio team. But unlike the Ray Rabbit Warrens of the professional world, these commentators have to look after every aspect of the broadcast themselves. Once the game is kicked off, it is time for the commentators to get down to business. Taken there by Kate Morgan. Oh, he almost knocked the ball on, but he then manages to regather the ball and advance the position. It is equally as involved and exciting for the sideline eye, who must ensure they secure interviews with the assistant coaches and best players on the day. So that's full time here at Ring Rose Park. As the commentary team finish with their full time analysis, the Hawkesbury Radio listeners and Windsor Wool fans have been able to once again experience their local team's efforts. And it is this bridging of fans and football clubs that Peter Sterling admires most about local rugby league commentating. Well, it's wonderful. It's what we all grew up with. You know, it's, uh, it, it's all about relationship um, and, and feeling a part of, of what's going on. Um, you know, as a supporter of a club, that's what you want. You, you want to feel a part of, of the club and its runnings and, as so you know, the players. And obviously on a, on a local and a community level, that's the bridge between being a supporter and of, of your local team. As the team pack the car preparing for next week, they have once again provided a free quality broadcast all for their love of rugby league.